Historically, Latin America and Africa has seen the North as the guide. Now, we are in a position to identify that we have produced good knowledge. The exchange regarding the power of data is a critical variable to go ahead as each country, but also a joint effort. Governments everywhere are looking to digital transformation to improve the services that they offer to citizens, to be more responsive and to be more comprehensive. The power of data is a critical part of that. It's data that runs through the veins of digital systems. Being able to participate in this workshop during this day uh, has been an amazing experience for us because we have uh, gained a lot of understanding in how we can like, uh, promote a concrete work with civil society in order to generate data from citizens. Thinking broad, that inclusivity is not just about persons with disabilities, it's about women, indigenous communities is about homeless people, stateless people, communities that are in conflict, and all these intersectionalities, because human beings are complex, and with that complexity requires that we all talk to each other. The key point is the inclusiveness, how we can get data from all sorts of people, no matter their background, their race or ethnicity, is what has been so fantastic to me. I've really experienced a lot and I've met my expectations. Inclusive data is a very interesting topic because you're really talking about real people, real issues, and going as low as possible to the ground so that you can hear their voice, you can hear their needs and understand it. For inclusive data to make a difference is you need to take it to policy and make change so that it comes back to them and improves their lives. If we don't understand our users and the demand they have in terms of statistics, really we are working in a shell and we are not really adding value. So we need to understand the demand of our users and then from there, that's where we come to collaboration. The knowledge exchange between South-South countries is very important. We know at this moment data is very important for decision making, for the complements of the SDGs and for other decisions in our countries, and especially in the countries of the Global South. Knowledge sharing is really important, and this learning event for me was an extremely important um, event. And it was important from the perspective of trying to figure out what are other countries doing? What are the things that we can do better? What are the ways that we can improve how government engages, how citizens use data, so that together better decisions are made? The fact that as uh, three countries from the Global South are coming together, sharing these experiences and figuring out what new structures need to come into place so that then in the individual countries they can set up those structures and make life better for people, that's an important thing. We are working together with the three countries, uh, particularly on having action plans, and those action plans will have the inclusive data component, but it's not only from the national statistical offices to work together. It's also to bring civil society, other government agencies together so that they also understand the importance of data. Kenya, Ghana and Colombia have all been pioneers in inclusive data. They've all been trailblazers for new solutions and new techniques. So we're really excited that they are now coming together to share their knowledge and their experience with each other and of course with the wider world to help other countries to follow their lead.